Hello everybody and welcome to Romanceful Tarot. I'm about to begin here with a reading and it is a general reading so it might not resonate with everybody so it's really important that you take whatever resonates with you and you leave the rest of it aside. If you feel as though it doesn't quite make sense to you, you're not quite comfortable with it, just leave it. If you would like to have your own personal reading, you can contact me at romancefultarot at gmail.com. All my information is in to the YouTube description box. Also, if you do enjoy the channel and you have not yet subscribed, please do take a brief moment of your time to click the subscribe button to show your support to the channel and to myself, and it would be greatly appreciated. And I do Thank you in advance. So that being said, um, we're going to jump right into this reading here. This reading is messages from the universe to you. So these are beautiful messages from the universe, something that you need to know, something that maybe you need to tweak upon your journey. Um, and I'm going to finish it off with a um, power of love oracle. So we're going to be talking a lot about the soul here. So let's begin let's go see what the universe has to tell you and this is a reading that is dedicated to the beautiful sign of leo so my dear friends leo let's see what the universe has as a message for you we're going to be speaking about accepting what is also about uh, receiving from angels and simplifying your life so let's begin with the very first one that we have here accepting what is i accept and embrace my inner majesty. This is about accepting your life, but it's accepting your life in all its configurations. And know that every moment, every situation, and every event really does have a profound value. Even if it doesn't seem like it, you need to accept your inner majesty. You need to be present. You're magnificent and you're wondrous, but beyond measure. And you need to believe that. You need to know that. And you need to accept that. You need to embrace all the parts of yourself. What the universe wants you to know is, it is an act of both power and of faith to love, to honor, and to accept what is simply. That's it. At times, it can be challenging to truly accept what's occurring in your life. And when you do, when you do so, however, you kind of affirm that there's a plan for your life and that's everything is working for your highest good. Accepting what is doesn't mean that you can't work to change it because you can. It does mean that there is a gentle yet a profound awareness that every experience can support your highest good and your spiritual evolution. If there's anything, if there's something that you just can't accept, you need to start by gently acknowledging the fact to begin with that you can't accept it. And then you need to increase your own acceptance in life slowly. And this is going to help you and others be at peace with their own lives. Some questions that you could be asking yourself is, is there anything that I'm not accepting in my life? How can I embrace myself and my life even more? Where will my life's journey take me? And if I truly honor every aspect of what is. We're now going to move on over to the angels. Receiving from angels. Shimmering wings of angels embrace me with love. This is about blessings from above and they're showering over your life. Angels, they're real. And their presence is near. They are only a thought away. Messengers from the Creator, they come to you with immense blessings and love. And you know what? All is well. You need to spread your wings and you need to soar. The, event, the uh, universe wants you to know that angels are watching over you. They love you. They love you deeply and profoundly. But be still and open. Open your heart to their wisdom, to their healing. They are going to come to you in soft breezes and rainbows and feathers. And they're going to seem quite, it just kind of magically appears. These signs let you know that you are going into the right direction and that all is unfolding exactly as it should be. Now the angelic energy within you is expanding. You need to know that there are an angelic, there's angelic healings force for others also. Questions you could be asking yourself is how can I access that angelic energy within me? 
What is the most important thing that my angels want me to know? And how can I accept and receive even more from the angelic realm? Moving on over to your final message coming from the universe, we have over here, simplifying your life. This is about, I cherish the simple pleasures of life. Focus on what's important to you and let everything else go. Scan all areas of your life and clear out the internal and the external clutter. It's not necessary. And you're going to experience a remarkable transformation. You need to rest. You need to rejuvenate. You need to do what matters and you need to release whatever is left. The universe wants you to know that to clear, okay, to clearly hear messages from spirit, you need to simplify. If you're always busy and you have accumulated much more than you need, you might also have a lot of static in your life. And this can make it a challenge to hear the voice of the Creator. You need to remove those things from your schedule that don't move your life forward. And then you need to go through your living spaces, your workspaces, room by room. You need to clear out the, cl the clutter. Additionally, you be sure to make time to clear any mental clutter. Calm your mind, simplify your thoughts. The smallest amount of clutter clearing, both internal and external, can make a huge difference in your life. Questions you could be asking yourself. What can I clear out of my life that's going to enrich and empower me? What blocks me from simplifying my life? And what will my ultimate result be if I simplify my environment and my activities? Moving on over to your power of love, we are going to be speaking about satisfaction. You let the energy of love guide you to self-approval so that others no longer define who you are. What other people think of you is none of your business. You should never look outside yourself for acceptance or validation. Because you know what? It sends the message that you don't trust your own soul's worth. And when you're in a space of self-acceptance, you do. You confirm to the universe that you are everything that you are meant to be. Now, Foy boys and all, everything, in this awareness, you are able to live freely and joyfully because you know what? You're not seeking validation through someone or something else. You can live your life and you can make your choices out of love instead of out of fear. To enter into this space, you must have the realization that your soul's makeup is divinely perfect. The limitations that you've placed on yourself and your self-criticisms are usually based on giving away your power to another or seeking outside approval. The ego, it is judgmental and it is critical and it is filled with insecurities. And while the soul is perfectly at ease and has come back here to enjoy a journey of self-discovery. One of the biggest traps in learning is to be satisfied is comparing yourself to others. You need to remember that you have come back to an earth school made up of a myriad of souls and experiences and you aren't meant to be like somebody else. Love yourself for being the compassionate, unique person that you are. And this does conclude your beautiful reading with the universe. I do hope, my dear friends, Leo, that you enjoyed. I do hope that you're going to be able to apply some of these messages. If you do have any questions you would like to have your own personal reading, you may contact me at romancefoldharrow at gmail.com. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Stay tuned for following readings and have yourself a beautiful day. Many blessings to you and thank you for being there.